Hi, and a warm welcome to this free webinar, Awaken Your Soul. I'm Georgiana at Holistic Life Hub. We all are familiar with the concept of ego, and we all know from our own experience that ego in our life creates almost all the problems and troubles that we are confronted with. We are also familiar with the concept of soul. But what does it really mean? What it means, soul? What, what is representing when it is about us as a complex human being? Our soul is that part of us that accompanies us in each life that we have. Our soul cannot suffer. Our soul is the source of inspiration. Inside of our soul, there are all the solutions to all the problems we might confront our, ourselves with. Our soul contains in it all the experiences that we ever had in all the lives that we've ever had. So our soul is super rich, super wise and always happy. So we can make it almost like an equation. If we suffer, then we are in the ego. When we are happy, then we are in the soul. What if there is a possibility to awaken our soul completely so that we can get rid of the ego completely? Then it will imply that we are always at peace, always happy, we always have the right solutions to all the problems that we will have in life because life is a school, we are here to learn. So problems means that we need to think and come up with the best solution in that direction. So let's dive right now into a very simple exercise that helps us connect with our soul and go deeply into the soul so that we can be guided by it, inspired by it, supported by it. And when our life will be lived from our soul and not anymore from our ego, it will really be a life transforming transition. So let's start it together. Please close your eyes, relax deeply, physically, emotionally and at the level of your entire consciousness. Breathe deeply a few times And now allow your breathing to continue without interfering with it. Just be aware of your breathing. Notice how with each breath you take, you go deeper and deeper within. Focus your entire attention in your spiritual heart, in the middle of your chest. Dive deeply within your essence. Aspire to come into contact with your soul. Find this inner place of tranquility, peace, happiness, strive to fill your soul, feel how with each heartbeat your soul awakens. How do you know that? Simply because you feel at home. 
you feel that finally you are at home. Feel deeply a quiet happiness, a sense of purpose, contentment. inner joy, gratitude, feel that when you aren't in touch with your soul, when you allow your soul to guide you and inspire you, everything is perfect exactly as it is. You aren't in the right place, in the right time, doing exactly the right action. Feel deeply the richness of your soul. Realize deeply that your soul has all the answers to all your questions and it can offer you the wisest solutions to all your problems. Realize deeply that your soul cannot suffer when you allow your soul to guide you. You are at peace, calm, content, happy, humbled, with a lot of integrity, dignity, self-respect, self-esteem, affectionate, compassionate, wise, kind, generous, inspired, aligned, purposeful, useful, on the right path. Allow yourself to feel deeply what it means to live your life with an awakened soul to feel that everything you do has a meaning. All your actions have a goal which is divine. Your life has a purpose. You are here with a specific role to play. All the human beings in your life are enriched because you are in their life. Feel the intense gratitude and humbleness when you feel deeply that living your life from your soul is the best experience, is the right choice, is the wisest solution is the right path. Dive deeply into this state. Allow your soul to inspire you, to guide you, to support you, to live through you. Allow your soul to shine. Feel deeply this quiet, special happiness feels expanded, harmonious. Feel yourself infinite, immortal, divine. Do your best to remember this state imprinted in your memory imprint it in your heart. Keep it as long as possible. 
So now, come back slowly into your physical body, but do your best to maintain the state for the rest of our free webinar. And now, open your eyes slowly, but maintain the state. Be in touch with your soul. Listen to me through your soul. Watch this webinar through the eyes of your soul. So let's dive into it. Who hasn't gazed up to the starry sky, contemplating it and meditating upon his or her own existence and meaning in this multiverse, thinking of the immortality of the soul. The soul is essential for us. Identifying and awakening our soul is essential in the awakening process of ascension. Awakening our soul sheds more light upon areas of ourselves that need healing. In order to get to the core of the self, we have to begin peeling the layers of the mask of our ego to reveal what lies beneath. At the trigger point in our life, we begin to awaken to the fact that we are multi-dimensional souls having a physical human experience in this life. Part of the ascension up the spiritual ladder is to transcend our ego and to expand our consciousness to focus on the higher self. Our inner transformation becomes easily possible by gradually elevating our frequency of occult resonance, our vibration. So let's do our best for a moment to become aware of everything that is interesting us, that is giving us pleasure or even that is upsetting us. Then let's think about all the creative revelations we have all the new realities which open in front of us and all the curiosities which exist in this world. We can feel all this richness of information within us because they manifest strongly, exerting a pressure upon the fine membrane that delimitates our individual existence. Luckily, we are in the middle of a process of evolution right now, which will lead us exactly towards this new type of perception, towards this new identity and towards this new reality, completely free of any constrictions. To better understand this new reality, which is on the verge to be born, having a superior frequency of superior vibration and the source which is unlimited, it is good to know from the beginning that there is a perfect justified motive for which we might feel scattered, ultra sensitive or very agitated sometimes. We are on our way to the golden era, which is the consequence of a gradual but rapid process of transformation both at the individual level as well as the society level. Even if to begin with we will feel confused, maybe, from an energetic and emotional point of view, sooner or later this transformative process will lead us towards a sublime destination. And luckily there is a map that can guide us directly towards this destination or can facilitate it for us inside the online course which I offer to you, which is called From the Ego to the Soul. There have been several years already since we hear all kinds of expressions like the transformation of paradigm, the quantum leap, the zero focus, the new era, the holographic reality in the world of physics, 
business, but also in spirituality and even in politics. Thus, the transformation of paradigm implies, actually, a transformation of our way of thinking and of perceiving life, aspects which lead to the transformation of our behavior to the much better. But what is happening nowadays actually surpasses all known limits and this is very good news for all of us. Because we are living in an era of transformation and of change, so what does the difference consist of? <laughs> the difference consists of a shift of consciousness, an awakening, an ascension process which takes place right now at a planetary scale and this is unprecedented. This phenomenon implies a modification, an alchemical modification of the base structure of things. It implies the shift from an energetic stage to a much superior one. A modification that takes place in an almost miraculous manner. And when our identity modifies, the external reality modifies itself in its turn and the other way around. The transformation of our world will become real only when the next superior dimension, what it is called nowadays the fourth dimension, will integrate completely the third dimension, this cubical one which we are so accustomed with. We can imagine this fourth dimension as a world of the soul, the awakened soul, a world of the spirit, as an experience and less as a place in itself. In it, all objects exist simultaneously in a unified field of energy and consciousness. In it, the whole contains everything else. The whole is known and the main substance from which this reality is made of is love. Each human being represents a sacred temple and the altar is the heart, the spiritual heart. And on this sacred altar it burns the fire of love which is a reflection of divine light. Getting to the point where our consciousness is expanded and our soul is fully awake is not an easy place to get to. Don't get me wrong. It's not impossible. It just takes a bit of time <laughs> and a lot of practice. To awaken our soul takes a bit of persistence, some patience and faith. These are the main ingredients. It won't happen overnight, but we can make it happen. The result? A beautiful soul and energy that can appreciate, love and manifest anything into being. Those who aren't open to at least a slight amount of awakening will miss out on the amazing hidden beauty the world actually has to offer all of us. Knowing what we are here for and actively pursuing it is something an awakened soul will do with determination and an open mind. When we understand we are here for a reason, we'll make sure we are aligned with our life purpose at all times. We start experiencing through love. There is no other love than true love. The awakened soul loves all beings and creatures and does not judge. Unconditional love is the purest form. There is an acceptance and a respect only the awakened souls will understand. There is no judging or hate here. We feel nothing is impossible but we understand that not everything is permitted. When the soul is awake, you are open to receive anything that will truly serve you and won't take manifestation lightly. We feel deeply we are all one. Each and every one of us are part of the bigger 
and beautiful collective that is the universe. We understand that we all have everything we already need inside of us to live beautiful lives filled with love and light. We are aware transformation is necessary. Awakened souls are fully aware of what no longer serves them and what needs to take place in order to transform into the light being that they long to be. To be an awakened soul is like nothing you've ever experienced before. Such people have an aura around them that is warm and beautiful. You'll recognize them instantly and want to be around them more. You want to be like that. Becoming one will be the most liberating act you can ever do for yourself. There will be no hate, no judgment, only love. And it should be noted that awakening is a process that is different for each and every one of us as we reach towards higher, broader levels of consciousness. But what does it actually mean to be truly and fully awake? Well, we are entering slippery territory here, a place where we meet the limitations of words and language. It is something the mind cannot comprehend via thought process or language decoding, for it is an internal experience beyond thought, emotions and feelings. It's a higher state of being. Finally, inner works, love and knowledge go together and self-perfection becomes possible. What we call the transformation of the inner nature. These results certainly do not all come at once. They come more or less slowly, more or less completely according to the condition and growth of the being, of you particularly, and me particularly, and all of us particularly. It's only by a shift of consciousness that the true basis of life can be discovered from within outward. But within does not mean some millimeters behind the surface. One must go deep and find the soul, the true self, behind the masks of the conditioned personality. We need to go deep and find the divine reality within us. Ultimately, it transcends the duality of pain and pleasure, happiness and suffering. There is a deeper, silent contentment a grounded calmness and sense of peace, not depending on any external circumstances, a sense of slowing down and simplifying. It's a place of true freedom. The accelerated process of inner growth, which the human beings experiment, can be understood easier from a certain perspective if we divide it in nine phases. The process of transformation is unique and individual and it brings to light, especially those aspects that are important for each and every one of us. These nine fundamental phases of transformation are important to understand and to go through. Finding the logic which exists at the base of the progression of these phases can help us enormously to understand our own life and the events in the midst of which all of us are. These nine phases of the process of transformation will take you all the way from the ego to the soul and I can take you through it in the online course which is called exactly that, from the ego to the soul. So if you want to give you the chance of awakening your soul and a complete transformation, which will take you out of the ego and into the soul, out of the suffering and into calmness, peace, happiness, power, inner power and strength, then 
sign up for the course From the Ego to the Soul, which you find at holisticlifehub.thinkific.com. I hope you'll give yourself the chance of a life-transforming transition, which will be almost miraculous for you. I'll see you inside the course. Thank you for offering me so generously your time and energy and attention. Take care.